can drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dock. The Kraken have won the opening face-off and take possession here at the start. Quick shot! Oh, tremendous reflexes with the pad! What a stop by Montembeau! Makes the save with the trapper! Montreal's looking to break out. Tries to feed it over to McCann. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Here's a chance! Montembeau's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. We're still in the early stages of this period. Still scoreless in this one. Suzuki's won the faceoff. Great reach with the poke check. And he takes a shot. And he makes a save there. Slides the puck down low. From one end of the blue line to the other. Quick feed to Everly. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. McCann's been nabbed for tripping. The Canadians get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. An opportunity here to go up by one on the power play. You know they've worked on this in practice. It's something to do, your repetitions. This is what prepares you to be big in these moments. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, what a stop by Decord! Now the shooter's gonna run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. And called for the offside, we'll get a face off. Gord's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the face off. Seattle's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Takes the feed. Taken here by Harvey Pinard. A chance! And it comes up with a stop there. Oh, they do it again! Boards tripped up and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. Anderson's actions pretty evident in the eyes of the officials here for tripping. And on the heels of that call, we get ourselves a little four-on-four four on the ice. Not typically that we see four-on-four four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. Quick pass over to Wenberg. at home. Well, this breakaway is perfectly executed, James. He knows his bread and butter is his great shot, and he sees an opening, and he takes it. The Kraken has struck first, and it's still relatively early in this one. Well, let's see if the game opens up a little bit now. They've settled in. They've got the game's first goal now. These next two few shifts are critical to see what kind of energy that they can bring and maintain. Scooped up along the wall by Pearson. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. That's built by Decord. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. Larson's taking the puck now here inside his own territory. Takes enough, but he's still got the puck. Looking to set up offensively. Feeds it across. Great save from in tight. Seattle's got the puck in the defensive end. And now he moves it to McCann. Shot. Here's a shot. Oh, and he reaches out with a glove save. Wow. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. The Canadians get a hold of the puck in their own end. 
Montreal's got it in their own zone. Seattle's got possession at center. Here we go, on man rush. Great stop by Montembeau. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man is the goaltender in task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Great hand-eye coordination as he gets the puck back. They put the puck into the offensive end. Winberg's got the puck in his own zone. From right out of midair, he bats it down. And a heads-up kick pass over to his teammate. Oh, it off the crossbar! Seattle's lead will not change. Sometimes you do all the hard work to get to the right spots on the ice, but you don't have any puck luck, and that was evident there as it hit the post and out. Slides the puck over to Shanak. Fires it on net, and he throws it wide of the net. Oh, this is a tough game, and you got to fight for your scoring chance. He scores! Off the pipe and falls in the twine. Well, it's a game of inches, isn't it? And this time, those inches, they work in his favor. They go right into the net. That's what you call having a knack for the net, James. When you get in tight and you're sniffing around, you better get that puck off quickly because you know there's defenders all in around you that are going to come and close. Here in the late going of the frame, we are all tied up in this one. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. Bjorkstrand's got it in the offensive zone. First period almost in the books here, nearing the final 60 seconds. The Canadians move the puck in the defensive zone. Into the offensive zone, down the right wing. A chance in front! Oh, breaks it off the outside of the iron. Thought he had the corner, but clearly not. And with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh. We'll get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. Well, the first 20 is in the books. Let's see what this second period offers. Neither side giving up much in the opening frame. And here we go, still tied up in the second. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Seattle's fortunate to be in a tie game here, James. I mean, they've popped the puck up a ton and haven't managed the puck. They've got to limit those turnovers if they want to be successful. And skilled use of the stick to pump the puck away. Matheson's got it across the line. Center and feed! Great defensive heads-up play to pick it off. Here's a short pass to Suzuki. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Lots of time left in this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Nice job tying up his opponent. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. And that pass attempt is deflected. Tatar is feeling that and someone's going to the box. And let's see what the call is. The Canadians will serve two for slashing. <laughs> Seattle's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, they've worked on this setup in practice on the power play. It's already worked for them this evening, James. You can certainly see the confidence that they have in this particular setup. The man is if ineffective. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. She's driving right to the front. Dismiss that chance. The has been consistent over the course of his career, mainly because of his positioning, James. He gets set to that puck, square to it, and makes the save. And the puck's booted away. Seattle's got it in their own zone. Moves the puck. Tosses it on to Schwartz. Here's a pass in front. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Here's an opportunity to get the puck out of their own end. Backhander in front. Scores! Putting the special in special 
teams, they take the lead! And often when you're on special teams, James, uh, it can go either way in terms of the momentum. If you don't generate anything, it goes the other way. If you generate something, it's all in your favor. I'll tell you what, that was execution. Seattle's push here in the second is paying off as they now lead by one. Well, you can certainly see the energy shift in the bench and the coaching staff talking to the team about continuing to push. Keep the pedal to the metal here. While you have your opponent down, you got to attack. Nice speed from... He's got a step! He's saving the play! Well, and I like the premise of this team trying to outweigh the goal. Kind of real patient, real composed, but guess what? So is the goalie who makes the save. Burakowski's lugging the puck. And he'll take a step back here deep inside his own zone. Great pressure with the stick. Tripped up on the play. Delay penalty coming up. And they're going to be short-handed once again, much to the chagrin of these fans. What is that? Is that three in a row now? Yeah, that's three in a row. You got it. And the fans certainly don't like it, but it's not up to them, is it? But now they're back to the PK. So difficult to get any kind of flow in a game when you're marching to the penalty box. Well, I really like them working off the 1-3-1 sequence that they were successful on earlier, James. It really opens up the ice. So you're using and stretching the entire zone. And listen, there's a lot of ice for the defense to cover. So you can look to the flanks, you can look to the bumper, but a lot of options off of it. Great use of the stick here at center ice. On the attack along the boards. Takes the puck at the point. For point three, scores! And the power play comes up big again. I love the various options that they have on their power play, James. Once the PK adjusts to one, they hit the other. Man, James, he's the benefactor of a great passing play. I mean, incredible vision to be able to land that puck right on his stick. But then he's got to do something with it, right? He's got to read where the goaltender is, and he's got to hit the back of the net. The Kraken have extended their lead to two here in the second. Cheryl, I know they talk about the two-goal lead being the most dangerous in hockey, but I'd rather be up by two at this stage of the game. I think everyone would rather be up than be down, James, but it's holding that lead, which is going to be critically important because it's the mindset. You want to make sure you continue to attack because the next goal is critical. You don't want to give any life to your opponent. They get within one. Watch out. Oh, here we go. This team knows how to turn it up another gear. been strong in the net tonight and his save percentage is really high James and it's because he's faced a high volume of shots and he's been dialed in and able to make the saves that gives his team confidence and they've been consistent as well and they've done the job on the other side of the puck the Canadians have time to work with but they need to convert on one of these scoring chances as they are trailing here in the second and off the draw they win possession and now he passes up to Tolan. And it's a quick pass to Borgen. With possession along the wall. Grabbed along the board by Anderson. Matheson's got the puck now in his own end. Slick feed. Takes the feed from the left side. Here's a shot. Oh, fantastic save by Decord. Oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. And the puck's kicked free. Seattle's got a hold of it against the wall. Denies him on the one-timer. The Canadians have had their chances, but they still trail late in the second. Montreal's got the win off that draw. Nearing the 40-minute mark of the game. Off the left wing and into center. Oh, as he locked it up, that as he stops the one-timer. And the centers glide towards the dot here as we got a face-off set to go. Lindbergh's won the draw here in the defensive zone. Carries it across the line. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. 
Wenberg's such a great player, James. He's got great hands and in-tight skill, but just that extra move there, it's a tricky one, and he gets lost in it. There's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we've got a third period just around the corner. Both teams seem fresh after that second intermission. We're ready to drop the puck on period number three. And the puck is dropped, and we are underway here in the third. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? Seattle's been excellent through two periods of play, and they lead this game because of the success of their power play. But you got to give some credit to the entire team because they forced their opponent into taking those penalties, which is giving them an opportunity on the PP. Shot! Turned aside with a glove by Decord. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. The Canadians need to start finishing their chances as they trail here in this third period. Seattle's won the draw. Montreal's got a hold of the puck now. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Dunn's taking it from his own end. Moves it to the middle, and he denies that great opportunity there. Slides the puck across to Suzuki. Takes a shot, makes the save, but barely with that one. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Slides the puck over. That was amazing. What a save by Montejo. Hammers it on net. Denies him with the save. There's the whistle. We'll get a face off after the goalie covers up. The Canadians have played well tonight, creating all sorts of scoring chances, but they still trail here in the third. Montreal's gonna start with the puck in their own end. Now a quick pass to Pearson. Montreal's got possession here in the offensive zone. Quick pass to Pearson. Oh, that's a huge stop by Decorn. Oh, spectacular save on the play. That's a fantastic sequence of saves there. James, he was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. Love save made by Decord. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Here in the back half of this period, Seattle's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. Evans wins it. They'll go to work now on the attack. Decord's got the puck and hangs on for a whistle here in this third period. Well, he's been outstanding all game, James. He's the reason why his team is leading in this one. And elects to a good decision to get the face off. Horns gained possession and his great work inside the face off circle pays off again. Takes a shot. Quick stop by the corn. Every coach is going to tell you, get in front of the goaltender and take away their eyes. It's the goaltender's job to find the puck. He finds it and makes the save. And he's knocked off the puck there. Tries it to the crease. Being stopped by the goaltender right in front. They're really clicking here in the offensive end. All sorts of pressure. And they'll end all that pressure as they clear the zone. Leading in the, late in the game, you know that the coach is going to choose players who are dependable and know exactly what to do at the right time. Putting that puck in deep is the right thing. Huge steal in his own end. Seattle's working hard in all areas of the ice. Defense is structure, and it needs to happen in all three zones. When you're talking about stick positioning, you're doing a great job of taking away passes. The Canadians take it along the wall. Change lines, come on. Anderson's got the puck. With the back hand. Big save in front. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight. Oh, stop. perfectly and got himself set to position James I thought he had it he got a good chunk of it but he didn't get it all
Montreal's got to be feeling good about themselves now, making this a one-goal game. Bench is up and stick taps all the way around, getting within one goal in the third period. You know how important this face-off is to get possession and start attacking in the Ozone. Moves it quickly over to Suzuki. Quick pass to Everly. Montreal's trailing, that's why right. we're gonna stop it in play as the whistle's blown. It looks like that pane of glass got busted from that shot, whoa! It used to be that saying, it'll make them like they used to. James, well, in this case, it's all for the better as the glass, the technology is so much stronger and a blistering shot. You know that it's gonna crack or spider the glass, but nowadays you can just replace the pane, so we'll have to wait for the maintenance crew to make sure that they take care of it. Moves the puck along the half wall. Montreal's emptied the net, the extra touch. Scores! And we are tied just before time runs out! I can't believe it, James. Just when you think it's over, they show how urgent they can be around the puck. They put their opponent on their heels and they got the equalizer. How about those fans that already left? Wow, how are they feeling? Not so good now. The centermen glide into position. And off the draw at center, they take control of the puck. The Canadians looking against the half wall. Reaches out and uses the stick. There's the buzzer, and that means drama looms with overtime, and it's coming up in just a matter of moments. And they are ready to drop the puck here in OT. It's sudden death overtime, and the puck is dropped. Let's go. Montreal's got the puck. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Picked up along the boards by McCann. The cord's last save was outstanding, James. I mean, it was a valiant effort. That's what gets it done. It's beyond the skill to be able to make a save. It is the will and the compete level that energizes everyone around him. Game on a stick! Oh, we are still tied! What a stop! Two on one, here we go! Sends it across. Reads it perfectly, breaking up the play. Montreal's across the blue line. Drives to the sweet spot, and that's blocked in traffic. Scores! There it is! The overtime Salute the fans. So this is a great feeling. I remember doing this when I was an athlete. You come back on the ice to salute the fans for cheering you on throughout the game. Just a fun night all the way around. Ain't no party like a victory party. Well, and that brings a fun night of hockey to a conclusion. And we will say goodbye.